Hello friends, I am Arim Guru, working as assistant professor in Sudin department. This is module number 2, Compass Surveying. This slide refers to graduations on the graduated circle of a cosmetic compass, which is shown in this particular diagram, having values from 0 to 360 degree in a clockwise direction. Only thing is that whatever the graduations are marked on the graduated circle they are enumerated but because we are going to use the prism we can see the image as it is this slide refers to coordinate bearing system in this system the bearing of survey lines are measured with respect to north or south line whichever is nearest to the given survey line and measured either in clockwise direction or in anti-clockwise direction. Secondly, the bearing of lines which fall in first and fourth quadrant are measured with respect to north line and bearing of lines fall in second and third quadrant are measured from south line as they are nearer to south. For that we are going to make use of survey compass for recording the quadrantal bearing system. This slide refers to radius bearing. When the whole circle bearing of a line is converted into quadrantal bearing, it is termed as radius bearing. Thus, the radius bearing is similar to the quadrantal bearing. Its value lies between 0 to 90 degree, but the quadrant should be mentioned for proper designation. So, in this slide, the four lines OA, OB, OC, and OD they are shown, and their values measured from north in a clockwise direction as well as anti-clockwise direction are shown. So whenever we are given the number to the quadrants, quadrant number 1 is northeast quadrant, quadrant, quadrant number 2 is southeast quadrant, quadrant number 3 is southwest quadrant and northwest quadrant is fourth quadrant. This slide refers to conversion of WCB to reduce bearing. So we have got four cases depending upon the location of a line where it falls we have four cases 0 to 360 if the WCB is between 0 to 90 degree then it is bearing equal to WCB and that particular line lies in the north northeast quadrant case number two the WCB of, of a line is in between 90 degree to 180 degree then it is bearing equal to 180 minus WCB and that particular line lies in the southeast quadrant Third case is if the WCB is lying between 182 to 70 degree, then it is bearing equal to WCB minus 180 degree, and that particular line lies in the southwest corner. Similarly, in case number four, the WCB of a line is lying in between 270 to 360 degree. Therefore, in that particular case, it is bearing equal to 360 minus WCB, and that particular line lies in the northwest quadrant. This slide refers to conversion of radius bearing to WCB. Here we, we found four cases northeast quadrant, southeast quadrant, southwest quadrant, and northwest quadrant. Depending upon the quadrant in which that particular line lies, we have considered the four cases. So, first case is the line lying in the first quadrant, that is northeast quadrant. Then, in, in that particular case, WCB equal to radius bearing. And in that particular case, value of WCB is 0 to 90 degree. Then consider case number 2 where the line lies in the second quadrant that is southeast quadrant. So in that particular case value of WCB is calculated as 180 degree minus radius bearing. So therefore the WCB value ranging from 90 degree to 180 degree. Then consider case number 3 the line lies in the southwest quadrant. Then in that particular case, the value of WCB equal to reduce bearing plus 180 degree. So here in this case, the range of WCB is in between 182 to 70 degree. Then consider case number 4, the line lies in the northwest quadrant. Then in that particular case, WCB equal to 360 minus reduce bearing. Then in that particular case, the value of WCB is lying in between 270 to 360 degree. So 
So here in this particular slide, we are going to consider what is forward bearing and back bearing. The back bearing of line measured in a in the forward direction of survey line is called forward bearing of that particular line. And if the bearing of line measured in, in the direction opposite to the direction of progress of survey is called back bearing of line. In this slide refers to forward bearing and back bearing. Here we consider the line AB and the direction of progress of survey is from A to B. So therefore, whenever we consider the horizontal angle of line AB with respect to magnetic north, then it is called forward bearing of a line. So it is measured in a forward direction, therefore it is forward bearing. Whereas when the instrument is set at B and the angle of line BA is measured in a, in a clockwise direction, then it, it gives us back bearing of line AB. Similarly, here in case B, figure number B on the right part, it refers to survey line BA and the angle theta is going to represent the forward bearing of a line. Whereas at station A, the whatever the angle theta 1 is measured, it is the back bearing of line BA. not a b so in this slide we are going to see forward bearing the bearing of line measured in the forward direction along the progress of survey is known as forward bearing so relation between forward bearing and back bearing is forward bearing equal to back bearing plus or minus 180 degree so in this slide we are going to see back bearing the back bearing of line measured in backward direction is known as back bearing and back bearing equal to forward bearing plus or minus 180 degree plus sign is to be used when forward bearing is less than 180 degree whereas negative sign is applied or used when forward bearing is greater than 180 degree. In the quadrantal bearing system, the forward bearing and back bearing are numerically equal but the quadrant are just opposite. For example, if the bearing of AB is say N 60 degree east then its back bearing is south. 60 degree west. In place of N, you have to replace S. In place of East, you have to replace West. That is W. So in this slide, we are trying to solve certain problems on conversion of WCB into risk bearing. The values of WCB are 49 degree, 240 degree, 133 degree, and 335 degree. And we are supposed to convert the value of WCB into reduced bearing. Here in this slide we have considered the first angle that is 49 degree. The value of the receiver is 49 degree. Since the line falls in the first quadrant, therefore the nearest pole is north pole and is measured from north towards east as 49 degree. Therefore, the reduced bearing equal to N 49 degree east. Here in this slide we are going to consider how to convert the value of WCB that is 240 degree into reduced bearing. Since the bearing of line is 240 degree, therefore that particular line lies in the third quadrant which is shown in the figure. Since that particular line is nearer to south pole and is measured from north towards south, therefore reduced bearing equal to WCB minus 180 degree. So 240 degree minus 180 degree equal to 60 degree. Since that particular line lies in the Southwest quadrant, therefore, reduced bearing of a line having WCB of 240 degree is equal to south 60 degree west. So this slide refers to the conversion of WCB to reduced bearing, and here in this case, the WCB value is 133 degree. Since the line falls in the second quadrant, therefore, the nearest pole is south pole and is measured from south towards east. Therefore, this bearing equal to 180 degree minus theta. So 180 minus 133 degree equal to 47 degree. So therefore, this bearing and that particular line lies in the south east quadrant. Therefore, S 47 degree east is the reduced bearing of a line having WCB of 133 degree. This slide refers to the WCB of a line having WCB value 30, 335 degree. Since that particular line lies in the fourth quadrant, it is nearer to north pole and is measured from north towards west. Therefore, reduced bearing equal to 360 minus WCB. Reduced bearing equal to 360 minus 335 degree. 
and it becomes 25 degree. So that particular line lies in the fourth quadrant, that is northwest quadrant. So we can attach the quadrant to that particular value. So therefore, this bearing of a line having WCB of 335 degree can be written as and 25 degree west. In this slide, we are going to solve problems how to convert the WCB into this bearing. And the values of WCB are 190 degree to 60 degree and 315 degree. So in, in this particular slide, we are going to see how to convert the given WCB to this bearing. So the WCB of a line is 190 degree. Therefore, this bearing of a line equal to WCB minus 180 degree. Since that line lies in the third quadrant, where to subtract 180 degree from the given WCB. So this bearing equal to S 10 degree west because that will line lies in the third quadrant. Then we will consider the WCB having value 260 degree. Since that particular line lies in the third quadrant, again we are going to consider the same formula that is WCB minus 180. Since that particular line lies in the third quadrant, that is southwest quadrant, we can subtract 180 degree from 260 degree to get the reduced value of this bearing. And we can attach the quadrants. So the reduced bearing equal to south 80 degree west. So here in this uh, slide we are going to see how to convert the given WCB to this bearing. The since that particular line lies in the fourth quadrant, therefore we have to attach the names north west by calculating the angle and the, we are going to calculate the angle that is uh, by subtracting WCB from 360 degree. So, so 360 minus 315 is 45 degree. We can attach the quadrant, therefore, and 45 degree west is the reduced bearing of a line having WCB 315 degree. This slide refers to conversion of reduced bearing to WCB. All these lines they are lying in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. This slide refers to the WCB of a line having WCB value 30, 330 by degree. Since that particular line lies in the fourth quadrant, it is nearer to north pole and is measured from north towards west. Therefore, reduce bearing equal to 360 minus WCB. Reduce bearing equal to 360 minus 330 by degree and it becomes 25 degree. So, that particular line lies in the fourth quadrant, that is northwest quadrant. So, we can attach the quadrant to that particular value. So, therefore, this bearing of a line having WCB of 335 degree can be written as and 25 degree west. Then we will see the value of WCB is 52 degree 30 minute southwest. So, that particular line lies in the third quadrant. Therefore, we have to add 180 degree to the reduced bearing to get the WCB. Similarly, if the line lies in the fourth quadrant, then whatever the value of reduced bearing is, we have to subtract from 360 degree to get the whole circle bearing of that particular line. So, in this slide, we are going to see the problems related to calculate calculation of back bearing by knowing the four bearing. Here the first value of back bearing is 140 degree. Since the, this particular value is less than 180 degree, therefore we have to add 180 degree to get the back bearing. So 148 plus 180 degree gives you back bearing. Similarly, for 65 degree also we have to add 180 degree to the 65 degree to get the back bearing. And here in case of third in third figure that is 285 degree, since this particular value is more than 285 degree, uh, 180 degree, we have to subtract 180 degree from it to get the back bearing of a line. Similarly, for 215 degree, 215 degree, since this particular value is more than 180 degree, we have to subtract 180 degree from 215 to get the back bearing of a line since the difference between four bearing and back bearing is always 180 degree then we will consider the fourth case that is n 36 degree west so this particular line lies in the fourth quadrant so the first of all we are supposed to calculate 
the WCB of a line that is 360 minus 36 degree. So that is the WCB and since that particular value is more than 180 degree, so whatever the WCB value is, we have to subtract 180 from it to get the back bearing of a line. Similarly, for last value that is south 40 degree east, since this particular line lies in the second quadrant and the value of four bearing is less than 180 degree, so we have to add 180 degree to, to, the, to that particular value of WCB to get the back bearing of a line. So this slide refers to the, the solving the problems of conversion of back bearing to four bearing. The difference between four bearing and back bearing of a line must be 180 degree. So the WCB is from 0 to degree to 360 degree. So whenever the back bearing, whenever we are supposed to calculate the back bearing, we are supposed to make use of this particular formula that is back bearing equal to four bearing plus or minus 180 degree. So plus is used when theta is less than 180 degree and minus 180 is used when theta is more than 180 degree. This slide refers to calculation of back bearing from four bearing of a line. This slide refers to conversion of four bearing to back bearing. And the values are 310 degree 30 minute, 145 degree 50 minute, 210 degree 30 minute and 60 degree 45 minutes. Whenever the four value of four bearing is greater than 180 degree, so for case number 1 and 3, we have to subtract 180 degree to get the back bearing whereas for B and D, we are supposed to add 180 degree to get the back bearing of a line. This slide refers to conversion of back bearing to four bearing. So when the back bearings are known, we are supposed to calculate four bearing. So in case of A and C, the value of four bearing is greater than 180 degree. So we have to subtract 180 degree to get the four bearing. Whereas in case of B and D, since the value of four bearing is less than 180 degree, we have to add 180 degree to get the back bearing of line. This slide refers to four bearing of line are given and you are supposed to calculate the back bearing of a line. All the bearings are given in the quadrantal bearing system. So you are supposed to calculate the value of back bearing into quadrantal bearing system. So whenever you are calculating the back bearing of a line, you are supposed to replace south to north and east to west. So for example, the four bearing of AB equal to S 30 degree 30 minute east. And so therefore back bearing of line AB equal to in place of S you have to replace N and in place of E you are supposed to replace W. So therefore the back bearing of line AB equal to north 30 degree 30 minute west. Similarly for four bearing of line BC having value N 40 degree 30 minute west. So the back bearing of line BC equal to S 40 degree 30 minute east. Similarly for line CD having four bearing 60 degree 15 minute southwest then the value of back bearing of line CD equal to N 60 degree 15 minute east. Similarly for line N 45 degree 30 minute east the back bearing of line D equal to S 45 degree 30 minute east is the back bearing of line DE. In this slide we are going to see how to calculate the four bearing of line when back bearing of lines in quadrantal system are given. So we will consider the first case that is back bearing of AB is N 30 degree 30 minute west. So in order to calculate the four bearing of a line just we have to change the quadrants from which they are measured and other quadrant. So the back four bearing of AB equal to S 30 degree 30 minute east. Similarly for back bearing of BC equal to north 40 degree 30 minute west. Similarly for line CD as 60 degree 15 minute west. And similarly for line DE 
north 45 degree 30 minute east so these are the four bearing of a b b c c d and d this slide refers to references used i have used serving and leveling volume one connect current and clock current and second references serving volume one bc premium thank you